Hey guys, I'm Raja Das from Thinky Geek and today I will actually guide you on how can you enable multi-window feature on your Android 1 running Marshmallow 6.0. This video was requested by many Android 1 users. So let's jump into the topic right now. So okay guys, so first of all you need to get to the page or the xdf forum developers page where you will get the files and the procedures so i'll link that link so i'll provide that link down in the description so don't forget to check that and then you will be presented by a tutorial by mohit 144 so a great 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 thanks to mohit k 144 so after that you need to press type this command so first of all I'll show you what to download and first you need to download this zip file which is actually the fastboot file and after that you have downloaded that then you need to download the notepad++ which is a newer version of notepad and the only reason why they provide this notepad link is because they don't want you to use the simple notepad because that may corrupt the file so after that you downloaded both of the file now you need to open up the fastboot mode after I need to press shift plus right click and you will open command window and after the open command window you need to actually check you need to actually connect your smartphone or your android one with your computer and you need to enable usb debugging and i'm sure that all of your phones are already connected with the adb of your computer so no need to show that to jump right into it so So once you have successfully connected your device with the ADB, you need to follow this procedure. So first they say ADB reboot boot loader, which will actually boot it to the fast boot mode and press it. Yeah, so you can see that your phone will be booted in fast boot mode and after that you need to press is fast boot boot twrp.img which will actually boot it into twrp recovery for temporary usage and now it has booted into twrp recovery so once you have booted into twrp recovery you need to do is first get to mount and mount you can find over um this place you need to press mount now you need to check now you need to actually check the systems at top and you're done so once you've done it keep the so once you've done that you need to get to the page of the web of, of the xda and you need to copy this command which i'm copying you can see this and paste it over here so that you don't miss any command or spaces between once you've done this the build.prop file has actually extracted to your computer you can see over here build.prop it's already here you need to edit it with notepad plus plus and after you have done that you need to get to this part you can see this here if you're if you're the first time doing this it will be like only user after extracting but once you have press but you need to do is keep bug bug so that it sounds like user bug and save it and once you have done that get back to the command prompt and the web page and then follow the next command which is actually adb push build dot prop slash system slash so once you have done that copy it and paste it so it has successfully pushed the build.prop into your phone systems and now you need to type some simple commands which is adb shell after that you have done that after the need to say cd systems only system and after that chmod 644 build.prop and you are done and i need to press is exit you are done and i need to do is adb reboot and now your phone will be rebooted into the normal mode or you know the smartphone os and once you're going to the settings mode you will actually see multi-window features so let's see that 
so guys i hope you have enjoyed watching this video please like the video if you really loved watching it and it really helped you and please comment if you have any queries related to this video and please share the video to spread and to show your other android one users and please 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 subscribe if you if you want to be updated with more videos i upload and want to be notified whenever i make a review or a tutorial so that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed watching it again and for the next video you better be in peace